What's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I bring you the coolest new Android TV box tips for 2018. So let's get right to it. Cool tip number one is Aptoid TV Store. So install this special Aptoid TV Store and gain access to some of the best, most wanted apps that you guys must try. The APK download is in the description box below. You know exactly what to do. Download, install, open and enjoy. So that brings us to cool tip number two. YouTube 4K on any Android TV box. So most Android TV boxes are now currently able to do 4K streaming on YouTube, but to enable this, all you need to do is download the YouTube TV version. So go to the Aptoid TV store that I just mentioned, find the YouTube app, install and open, and you will now have 4K on YouTube. Of course, you are going to need at least 25 megabytes per second broadband and for smooth 4K streaming, I recommend you use a TV box with a little bit more vava voom, better specs, octa-core, more RAM, etc. Moving on to core tip number three, play games on the TV box for long hours. So I have a special hack that will allow you to play games on your Android TV box for hours and hours with no worries for overheating. Now all you need to do is pick up one of these, a portable USB fan, plug it into your TV box's USB port and put your TV box on top of it. Now you can play games galore without worrying about overheating and the best part is the fan is powered by the TV box itself and costs under $10. So moving on to core tip number four, the best game controller for Android TV boxes. I have mentioned this one before, but consider this as an update for all the new followers to the channel. The GameSir G4S is still the best game controller you can get for your Android TV box. It's a hybrid device, works with either Bluetooth or USB dongle, making it compatible with more or less any of the Android TV boxes out there. Core tip number five, the best wireless keyboard, the best mini wireless keyboard. Most of you will know that I'm currently using the Tanix TX92 as my main driver. In fact, I don't use the default remote on any Android TV box as I find it a bit limited. I prefer this. Now this is a mini wireless keyboard with backlights, navigational and multimedia buttons, volume control, a trackpad, a full QWERTY keyboard, and this is also rechargeable with a long battery life. So this super enhances your user experience, it is very cheap to buy, and all the products and links mentioned so far in this video will be linked in the description box below. So there you have it guys, that was my coolest new Android TV box tips for 2018. I hope you guys found this video useful. That's all for this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.